Hey, what's up guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Top 5 video. And today, guys, the position that we are going to be talking about is one of my favorites. It is the running back position. I have always been somebody that loves to run the football, so this is definitely one that kind of hits close to my own heart. And it's a position that I always try and find the best quality players at. So I'm definitely interested to see what you guys voted for and if I agree with the top five overall running backs in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. All right, guys, first on the list at number five, we have the 24 hour only boss edition of Marshawn Lynch. This is an absolutely beastly item. When it first came out, I actually had an opportunity to use this thing. And I think, I want to say it was the first boss running back that came out, if I remember correctly. You guys will probably correct me if I'm wrong on that. But either way, I got the opportunity to use this card, and it was an absolute monster when it first came out. So I want to show you guys some of the attributes here and compare him real quickly to my current running back, who is Barry Sanders. And then I'm also going to show you guys what he looks like in comparison to Eddie Lacy real quickly. Um, obviously, Barry Sanders has some better attributes and things like the speed and the agility, but I want you guys to take a look at some of the stuff like the trucking for Marshawn Lynch because, dear God, Marshawn Lynch is an absolute freaking tank, not to mention the fact that he has 97 strength. Now, I don't know if there's anything that for certain goes into what strength does for running backs, but I do know one thing. Marshawn Lynch always fell forward for me when I used him and he is an absolute beast he's one of the best running backs if you're in like a third and one type of a situation he is the guy that I would be looking to go with now let's compare him real quickly to final edition Eddie Lacy who is another player that a lot of people like to use in a very similar type of role to Marshawn Lynch and obviously you guys can see here just from the quick attributes here they're very similar in some of these things but then if you take a look at pretty much every single attribute other than acceleration Marshawn Lynch is definitely better than Eddie Lacy. He's stronger. He's got better agility, uh, better speed, and then the um, the catching is also a little bit better as well. Pretty much every single attribute, he's as good or better than Eddie Lacy. And Eddie Lacy is a damn good running back as well, guys. And he is one of the final cards that came out as well in the final edition set. So there you have it, guys. First on the list, like I said, 24-hour edition, Marshawn Lynch. Definitely deserving of being in the top five. At number four, guys, we have a Goldman ticket item. Yes, Bo Jackson. You guys probably expected that, right? There is also a Golden ticket, LaShawn McCoy, but comparing the two, it's just no question. Bo Jackson is by far the better player. In this case, guys, they only made 50 of Bo Jackson cards, and it makes sense because if you were to make more than 50 Bo Jackson cards, just like the Mike Vick, who was number one at the quarterback position, this game would have just been ruined, man. <laughs> so it's very good that they only made 50 of this card because it is ridiculously OP. Still going for over a million coins on the auction block on just about every single console, even in late July. High. So it goes to show you how just ridiculous this card is. Let's compare him real quickly to the Barry Sanders because he pretty much kicks Barry Sanders ass in just about everything. Speed, he's better. Acceleration, he's too higher. The trucking of Bo Jackson, 100 trucking along with that 100 speed and 103 acceleration absolutely ridiculous guys he also has great elusiveness and ball carrier vision as well it's just that barry sanders has such high attributes in those categories as you would imagine with barry sanders so uh, i mean again bo jackson just an absolute freaking tank in my opinion one of the more interesting cards in this game as well because it was very fun to look at some of the random attributes that he had on his card as well it wasn't just the fact that he was a good runner take a look at some of this other stuff his throw power 93 throw power and he also had decent throw accuracy. He even had good kick power and accuracy. I mean, at least for a running back. And then if you look at some of this other stuff, his tackling was even high. It was just crazy. And then you look at all this other stuff as well. Great jumping attributes. Great, I mean, like I said, obviously the, the running attributes, the, the stiff arm, the spin move, the juke move, all that stuff is there. But go down here and take a look at one of the funniest things on here. I, it cracks me up every time to see it. 85 throw accuracy short, 80 throw accuracy mid, and 78 deep with 75 throw on the run and 68 play action. Don't get me wrong, these are not great quarterback attributes, but if you were to ever be in a situation where you were doing a halfback pass or something like that, 
Bo Jackson could get the job done, in addition to the fact that he would be probably the most difficult player to stop as just like a standard runner, of course. Uh, for the majority of Madden, he was the best running back, in my personal opinion. So uh, add to the fact that if you put him in the Wildcat, that he was actually a legitimate passing threat as well. It just made him so, so very, very difficult to stop. So he is definitely, again, deserving of being number four on this list. At number three, we've got the only card that I pulled that was worth over a million coins this year. That, of course, was the 24-hour boss edition of Barry Sanders. I pulled this thing, and man, I, I was just blown away. You guys know I've had very good luck with pulling Barry Sanders in Madden 25 and now in Madden 15, but I pretty much had no luck pulling anything else. But I will definitely take it because as you guys can see, as him with him being the number three overall running back from Madden 15, this is an amazing card, guys. It really, really is. Super ridiculously overpowered. Things going for, you know, millions and millions of coins. Obviously, you guys see this is maxed out at 10 million. No one's going to buy it for 10 million. This guy's pretty much just showing off the fact that he has a 24-hour Barry Sanders. But even if you were to just go in here and compare him to the regular, uh, the regular Barry Sanders, which is currently what I use, I ended up selling the 24-hour one just because I didn't think the value was there for me to keep him over the regular Barry Sanders. But... If you can afford it, man, he is better in every attribute as you would imagine him to be with the boss edition. But just look at these things, man. He is over 100 in almost every single thing that you would care about for a running back. 100 speed, 103 acceleration, 100 carrying, 99 awareness, 96 trucking, ridiculous, 105 elusiveness. Absolutely freaking amazing card, guys. If you guys didn't have a chance to play with this thing, I, I highly recommend trying to figure out a way to get it onto your team at some point before we move on to Madden 16 because I had a ton of fun playing with this card, guys. Uh, he even has great catching attributes as well, so that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're looking for a Barry Sanders item. Now, the one thing that I thought was best about this card, or one of the best things, is that some of the other uh, running backs didn't have great carrying. But Barry Sanders checks in the, the boss edition with 100 carrying. Now, when I say not great, I mean like mid to upper 90s. It's still, it's still really, really good. But when you consider the fact that you could get one that has 100 carrying, this is definitely the way to go. So Barry Sanders, the ultimate edition, uh, 24 hours only. He was pretty much my favorite player from this game that I pulled. And I hope you guys got good luck in, with him as well. And he is definitely deserving of being number three. The number two running back from Madden 15 Ultimate Team, Adrian Peterson, 24 hour only, boss edition. Just like Barry Sanders, an absolute freaking tank, guys. I just loved this card when it came out. I never had an opportunity to actually acquire it, but I saw the attributes and man, I was just like in love. If I could have afforded this card, I would have definitely gone to it at some point. Just take a look at some of these attributes. 100 speed, 102 acceleration, again, 100 carrying, just like the Barry Sanders 24-hour edition card. Great elusiveness, but the fact that he com complemented all of those attributes with the speed, the acceleration, the carrying, all of that stuff, along with 102 trucking, that is just crazy, man. He also had 95 strength, so he pretty much fell forward all the time along with that speed it's just he was just such a damn overpowered card in my personal opinion and uh, i certainly agree with you guys that he should be up here in the top three now i don't know if i would necessarily put him above the barry sanders but the thing is is that he was a little bit more well-rounded as a runner i would say he wasn't just elusive he also had the strength that you really want out of a running back so i can see where why you guys put him as the number two running back in the voting and i certainly will not debate you on that Barry Sanders is a beast, but Adrian freaking Peterson, man. You can't really go wrong with Adrian Peterson. So I'm a big fan of this card, and I am very, very fine with putting him at number two on this list. And rounding off the list at number one, guys, we have the Ultimate Edition 24-hour card boss, Bo Jackson. Guys, most people would consider this card to be, if not the best, one of the absolute best players in this game at any position. It is unbelievable. The attributes on this card are freaking insane, guys. I'm just gonna show you real quickly in comparison to my Barry Sanders. Yeah, 
he pretty much blows him away in just about every single attribute. Very, very similar to the Adrian Peterson, but upgraded in most of the attributes over the Adrian Peterson. Um, if you take a look at the speed, he's faster. He also has better trucking than the Adrian Peterson, which is insane. 105 trucking, guys. He even has 99 strength. Oh my goodness. This card is just so ridiculous. Every single thing that you would look for in a running back, this card has. It even has 102 carry, which was a little bit of a thing that people didn't like about the original Bo Jackson cards. They had mid-90s for the carrying, and that was a little bit of an issue because a lot of people were saying that their Bo Jackson fumbled. I haven't heard anybody complain about this Bo Jackson fumbling, guys. 102 carrying. He is pretty much always going to hold on to the football. And then just like the golden ticket Bo Jackson, he has crazy throwing attributes as well. 95 throw power, along with good kicking power if you were to ever be in a situation where he would kick. I don't know how that would happen, but it's just a funny attribute that they included. He also has 99 stamina, guys, which is always nice. A lot of these other higher-end running backs kind of get tired, especially like your 24-hour, uh, or maybe not your 24-hour, excuse me, but your, your combine Chris Johnson. That card got tired really, really fast when I used it, and I know for a fact that this Bo Jackson would be very, very good at staying uh, on the field and, and really being a big player. Now, one of the things that I found to be really hilarious about this card that a lot of people didn't notice, he has 99 hit power. So if you were ever in a situation where the other team, where you throw an interception, let's say with your quarterback and the other team's returning it, turn into Bo Jackson, get your, your player lock on Bo Jackson and smack the hell out of the ball carrier because most of those defensive players do not have good carrying and Bo Jackson can force fumbles on offense as well or uh you know when he plays on offense and the other team takes the ball so i guess technically he's on defense at that point but i mean seriously guys this cart is so ridiculously well-rounded it's just crazy even like i said with the golden ticket one it even has good throwing accuracy again not quarterback level attributes but definitely serviceable attributes and if you were running a wildcat this card would be so incredibly difficult to stop so that's why bo jackson is our number one overall running back on this list guys certainly deserving of being number one i don't think you could really even make an argument that there's another running back that's better so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again guys if you enjoyed it please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel as you are if you are new and i just want to let you guys know that we are going to continue to do the countdown series i'm going to continue to do it pretty much at every single position throughout the year so i hope you guys enjoy these videos make sure to leave in the comment section below what position you want me to do next but coming up next in our very next video that we do with the top five we're going to be counting down the top five wide receivers of madden 15 ultimate team so i want to hear what you guys have to say who are the top five wide receivers from this game let me know is it are there a boss card is it a golden ticket calvin um is it the positional set julio jones or des bryant let me know in the comment section below guys who do you think is the best wide receiver in this game if you guys can give me a top five i would even appreciate that even more i'd love to get the, your opinion on this guys thanks again guys leave your comments below on what you thought about the running back list if we missed anybody or if you completely agree i'd love to hear from you guys thanks so much for all the support hope you enjoyed the video and i'll talk to you guys again soon